Hey, what's going on ladies and gents, welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. I just wanted to talk about the future of Genshin Impact and how they're going to be rolling out patches from now on. After this new patch, 2.0 is going to come out and we all have to understand that this one patch took them about a year for them to come out with. They have to keep that in mind. We don't want to wait another year. It's kind of a bad and really unusual spot to be in because we have to be really patient. This game, the whole content aspect of it is to release this new regions, but it's going to be yearly if, if it continues with this pace. Technically, you could say, oh, they released Monsta and Leeway in their certain pacing, as well as the Archon Quest and whatnot, but because they're released in Izuma now, they're not just going to release all of the Archon Quests right now. They're going to do what they did with Leeway, and they're going to like release it on, upon schedule, just so you don't finish all the content in one go or speed run all the content in one go which makes a lot of sense the content that's going to be coming out in the future is going to be based upon that oh yeah because they want to sort of halt you from clearing it too fast you're probably not going to get the entirety of Inazuma too quickly it's going to be like what they did with Leeway where you get the Archon quest every now and then and after that you reach a certain point in the Archon quest where there is nowhere to go other than a new region and that's when they'll start oh teasing you with a new region showing you all the new region characters or whoever it may be at least now we know how their formula is working and how it looks like so now we can sort of predict in the future how they would release characters and that's i mean that's sort of an exciting thing to me and I hopefully it also excites you guys as, you know excites you guys as well because now we know what to expect, we know how it sort of paces, especially after, you know, they said that they were going to elongate how long they're going to release these patches and how fast they're going to release them. Personally, I don't want them to release it too fast because if they release it a half-assed region, it's not going to be a good patch and it's going to suck. And that's sort of my number one worry, if the region sucks. So hopefully Inazuma goes well, it looks to be really nice, but hopefully it's not just two weeks worth of content and it's over. Hopefully it does go on and you know the events do suffice and they are good, they do help us find more content within the game, but we need some decent meat, you know, <laughs> we need some of that just to sort of help us keep going. For example, Azdaha is a weekly boss, it's endgame content, allows us to keep going. They really need to release a mode in which they almost did with the event where we have a never ending battle. And this never ending battle should not have a time limit, but rather if your characters end up dying or if your characters can't keep the momentum up, if you can't kill enough of these certain um, monsters or enemies to, you know, in a certain time frame like for example 40 seconds you need to kill one opponent at a time one opponent at a time it should be you know something like that it should really 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 be tuned in which it's not too you know time constricting you only have 10 minutes get the best score it should be oh you can increase your time interval you can increase your time limit by killing this many amounts of opponents or whatever it be something like a zombies mode you know just having that sort of mode in Genshin Impact would be incredible especially with the, all the elements the skills the team compositions this will make the game super super fun and every single person will enjoy this type of content especially if there is some sort of reward for getting to a certain level if you could run a contest like you do with fan contests in which you have all the art stuff and the content creation you could have that within the game itself and award them some stuff you can award them with genshin primo gems you can award them with genshin merchandise in real life you can award them with other stuff maybe their own genshin banner how cool would that be having your own banner in the game that's freaking cool and i mean yeah that's pretty much it hopefully you know genshin impact mihoyo keeps themselves on top of this and we'll have a good future with Kenshin Impact hopefully. Anyways that's gonna be it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did consider liking the video as well subscribing to the channel. See you guys in the next video very soon. Goodbye.